morning everybody uh today is oops yeah see that hat okay why don't we just remove it okay there that's better <laughs> uh today is the second of november and we are here at the cemetery saint stanislaus cemetery in order to pray for our own dead to pray for all of the faithful departed who are buried here and 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 everywhere else we want to remember our own dead uh, uh, especially on this day on the 2nd of November and uh, for the whole month of November the whole month of November is dedicated to uh, to our beloved dead and this is a very appropriate place to consider the the most important challenge in our lives we can sometimes be distracted with professional concerns, family concerns, chores that uh, keep us busy, things that needed to be done on a daily basis. But we oftentimes forget the most important thing that we all have to just focus in this life, and that is heaven. That is the call to become a saint. That is the most important mission we have in our lives. Our profession, our chores, our family life, our obligations our projects no matter how big or small are all means towards one and the same end and that is to become a saint so the only failure that really we have to fear is the failure of becoming a saint anything else any other failure along the way is an opportunity for learning it's an opportunity to better our lives it is an opportunity to ask for pardon and repentance from our sins and it is an opportunity to do good to seek sanctity even in those situations which seem to be very challenging uh, very depressing very sad that may happen to our lives all of those things can be used and channeled as a means to seek sanctity so sanctity is the most important goal in our lives but we have a problem nowadays especially in the Catholic world we have a very big problem and what is that problem we don't propose sanctity as the goal anymore we don't propose sanctity as the goal for people in fact you hardly hear about sanctity being proposed as a goal for people what exists in the Catholic world nowadays is mediocrity mediocrity and that is a very very sad reality and there's mediocrity everywhere I can enumerate plenty of things to you mediocrity in the way we celebrate the Eucharist mediocrity in the way we uh, we teach our children about faith and morals this PSR thing that happens in parishes, one of my favorite uh, pet peeves, right? The way priests handle the Holy Eucharist, the way we distribute and receive Holy, the Holy Eucharist, the way we administer the sacraments, the way we do not anymore encourage the teaching of virtue, <laughs> the way our school system is organized and what we teach in our school system. There's so many things that happen in our environment in our surroundings that do one thing teach mediocrity even in our own uh, search for heaven you see heaven is for saints and if we do not raise the bar and teach people that they need to become saints in order to get to heaven How do you expect them to get there if you lower the bar and in the in the in the excuse in the guise of you know well you gotta be pastoral uh, not everybody can understand you you gotta be uh, you know you gotta go down and stoop to the level of people <laughs> you know what you are encouraging mediocrity and you priests and clergy are encouraging mediocrity by watering down the teachings of the church the demands of the gospel 
What we have to do is raise that bar, bar, raise that bar, and make people understand that sanctity has demands. Sanctity means struggle. Sanctity means <laughs> taking the, going the extra mile. It means fighting against every temptation. It means fighting against mediocrity. You know, I understand your pastoral concerns, you pastors who tend to give this as an excuse, right? But what you're doing by giving the excuse that, you know, you got to go down to where people are, what you are actually doing is encouraging mediocrity. What you are doing is instead of giving people a standard, you're watering down the demands of Jesus Christ. And what do you achieve by doing that? Just look at the history of our Catholic Church. Just look at what's going on with people in the Catholic Church nowadays. Where are the Catholics? Where are they? <laughs> if you <laughs> can tell me that by lowering down that bar, you are attracting more people to Jesus Christ, I think you got to think again. You got to think again. We're fooling ourselves, folks. We're fooling ourselves. Pastors, bishops, cardinals, we're fooling ourselves. Let us raise that bar today as we commemorate our dead. Let us raise that bar. Let us make it a resolution for everybody, for every parish, for every family to raise that bar and start talking about sanctity again. Start telling everybody that the standard is sanctity. Jesus Christ gave it to us. He told his apostles, be perfect as my heavenly father is perfect. Where are you in that scale? Today is a good day to think about it. And I wanna to talk to teachers, to pastors, to bishops, to clergy out there. You are responsible to a great extent in encouraging this mediocrity that we now suffer from in our whole Catholic world. You, pastors, who have watered down the standards of Jesus Christ in the guise of being more pastoral, you have reversed the, 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 the scale instead of helping people achieve the highest objectives you have watered down the standards to cater to what? Eh? To cater to what? I really don't understand. But what we don't realize is when we lower the standards, when we lower the bar, we lose the whole point of living our Catholic faith. Today is a good day, folks, to raise that bar and think about where you might end up in that scale and whether your journey is going to lead you to heaven or you're just going to settle for purgatory. Making that standard might not even get you there. Raise that bar. Thank you. Good luck. Bye.